my name is Rebecca. I'm an education consultant for COTG. My second video today, I'm going to show you how to use some of the basic tools in the Smart Notebook software. So, Smart Notebook is loaded on my desktop. That's the software that's designed to be used with the Smart Board. When I open Smart Notebook, by just double clicking, you'll notice that it opens a blank notebook file. I'm just going to go over some of the basic tools on the toolbar that you should know if you're starting to use the Smart Board. The first one I'm going to go over is add a page. Add a page is the white page with the green plus sign. If I touch that, it's going to add a page directly after the page that I was on. Same with the delete a page, it's directly to the right of the add a page. So if I wanted to delete page two, I just touch on that and it's deleted. If I accidentally delete a page and I need it back, a great way to do that is use the undo tool. Undo is directly above add a page, and when I touch that, it'll undo my last action, and it'll keep undoing just like in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Um, a few other basic tools. Um, this one right here that looks like the screen with the magnifying glass, when I click on that, it gives me a drop-down menu of a few other screen options. So I can then go to full screen, I can do a dual page. These percentages are different zooms. Um, the most commonly used one out of all of those is full screen. So when I touch on full screen, I have a lot more working space in my notebook file, not so distracting with the toolbar, um, and a little bit easier to, to follow along and to focus for your students. Um, so you can exit out of full screen, you just close out of this box right here, and that'll bring you back to the regular view. Um, a few others, um, a very popular one is called the screen shade. The screen shade is two over from the full screen. The screen shade is great if you had something on your smart board, like an agenda. So if you had three things that you'd like to cover in your class today, the screen shade is a great way to show and hide and reveal. So if I touch on that, it turned my screen gray, and then all I need to do is pull down to show one thing at a time. It will go down, and you can also pull from the side. So I could then go over my agenda, keep the, keeping the lesson a little bit more focused. To, to uh, exit out of the screen shade, there's a red X in the corner, and you just touch on that, and it'll go away. A few others that you should know about when you're first getting started, this last set of eight tools down here, these are called your design tools. So you have different pens, shapes, text, lines, you have a fill bucket. Most commonly, I would say the pens. So if I click on the pens, down here it opens up an additional toolbar. The pen drop down right here indicates what kind of pen I'm working with. Is it a regular pen? Is it a highlighter? Creative pen? Um, so depending on what your use is, you might need um, some different kinds of pens. In addition to the pens, another popular tool in this last set of eight is the text option. So if I click on the A with the red underline, I can then choose, choose a font, a size, um, bold, italic, any of that. And then just by touching on the screen, it's going to allow me to type. To type text up on the smart board, there's two ways that you can do that. You can either walk over to your computer and use your keyboard to type, or on the left side of the tray where the eraser is, there's a button that looks like a keyboard. If I touch on that, it'll bring up an on-screen keyboard and I can use that to then type on the screen. And then I can close out by just selecting the X in the corner. So I hope that gives you some ideas, some new tools to work with, some basics of the Smart Notebook software. Thanks.